Hello again, YouTube toy lovers. Back again with a another piece of my toy collection. Wanted to show you guys my GI Joes today. Well, what I can grab and dig out right now. And uh, as usual, I have some questions, and maybe you guys can help me out. But got a pretty good bit, so I'm gonna kind of go pretty fast. Got some of the the 25th anniversaries. We got Duke, Scarlet, the Roadblock head up here. I got my custom Sergeant Slaughter here. A little G.I. Joe thing that come with the 25th anniversary. Sings the little song. Actually come in, in this case here. Anyway, um, this is a, just a lot assortment of bat packs. This one I need to actually glue. It's done separated, but some guns, this and that miscellaneous. I know all these guns, I'm sure, aren't um, politically correct for the G.I. Joe guys, but all of them are vintage. All these guns and weapons are old, so figure they were worthy of going in. Most of them, I mean, most of the, the weapons and stuff pretty much is what goes with them, but there's a lot that's not. I mean, it's just a real vast assortment here. And I actually just found this guy at the yard sale with the little mask. These guys are very hard to find, and he's in really good shape, so just need to get the bottom. And I don't know if this guy's a G.I. Joe or not. So if anyone knows who this guy is, feel free to let me know. Here's some more. This is another anniversary figure of the Storm Shadow here. I don't know if you can see him. It's kind of glary from the bag. Got a Tunnel Rat. This is a version 4, fourth wave. It's in really good shape. These are my... G.I. Joe body parts. Actually, all of these are what I've already gotten put back together. These are all put back together. They're maybe missing a head, leg, and arm. She's missing her hair. <laughs> this was one of the originals that had the real hair. It looked like uh, someone burned it off of her. But anyway, there's a lot of good ones left with some potential in here. Um, Slowly but surely, they'll get put back together. These are some miscellaneous missiles and stuff, what I don't already have out here. And this is an assortment of guns, turrets, missiles, bombs, machine guns, whatever. And do not even get me lying to where this stuff goes. I have no idea. I need a G.I. Joe expert to come over for about a day. This is pretty cool. This is uh, the original 80s set of G.I. Joe walkie-talkies. And I actually still have the original extra set of wire for the extension. It's still in the factory sill. I didn't figure I needed to get that out to show you guys, but they're uh, pretty good shape still. The original little carrier. These is just extra. I've got two extra turrets to this Jeep here and extra windshield set. If anybody needs it, holler at me. I don't remember the name of this big thing. It's got the missiles. It actually still, you could pull these little missiles out of here. This would pop off and it's got the little yellow missiles you can separate. They're all still intact. And this is my old case. It's not the G.I. Joe case, but it was cheaper. Still from the 80s. Uh, well, we got 87, Terra Toy Company. And here's where I need some help. I don't know all these guys if they're all G.I. Joes, so if you guys know, please feel free to let me know. I am actually would love to separate what isn't G.I. Joes. 
try to give you guys a good close look. Actually, I was wondering if is this a mask figure? And these guys. Does anyone know if these guys are from Mask? I know this guy here isn't a G.I. Joe. But he's older. He's 80, so... That's another one I don't know about. I know these guys are, but... These four here. If anyone knows who they are, please let me know. I know these cases of... Man, these things get old and they just... They, they crumble to... The shreds, but it's what I'm holding them in, so the old bat. All right, let's move on to some more bits and pieces here's some of the old uh, things that come in the packages the little booklets and it's got some these are cool to look at it shows you all the vehicles new and what's coming out I've got old blueprint there to the mobile uh, mobile missile turret the GI Joe booklet for members only club if you were a member you would get this and it would tell you all kind of cool uh, secret stuff, new figures and stuff that were coming out, blah, blah, blah. That's a really early one. It's kind of rat-eating, falling apart. You guys have seen my boat already. There's the little, I forget the guy, jump, jump guy thing. There's his setup. Some of this stuff isn't complete. Some of it's pieces and bits. So if anybody's needing anything or looking for a certain piece, just holler at me. Got lots of extras and pieces and missiles and tires. And this is the, the main setup here. Don't remember the name of this big thing, but... It's very cool. It's got the little moving seat. Still has the little radar. My favorite part, I think, about the whole thing is that it's got the the gas hoses, and they you pull them and they unravel, fill up, give your vehicle gas, and it reels back in. I even hooked up an extender to one of my lines, so it would reach further out. Anyway, this thing's still in really good shape. It's just a little dirty. It's to be cleaned up. This thing extends out. But that's pretty much it. I saved my favorite thing for last. Now I like to fill on my figures. I actually just got this. This is my undertow. Exclusive. It's the members only figure. If you're a member of Hasbro. It comes with this comic book. with the card. It's got the bios on the back. And then the figure. And this is the exclusive undertow. I'm real proud of this thing. Or to be for what he cost. <laughs> I mean, he may be exclusive, but you're paying for him, trust me. I don't care if you're a member or not. You know, you are going to pay for them, but, I mean, it's definitely worth the money you're getting to figure that not 100,000 people are buying. I'm sure there's still a lot of members and a lot of people actually ordered this guy, but 
trust me, it's not as many people that's going to own it as if it was put in Walmart, so he's worth it. I said, I think I paid uh, 20 bucks to get them. A little over 20 bucks and all, but definitely cool. Any exclusive G.I. Joe is cool to have. And comes with the comic book and the card, so. But anyway, that's my stuff, guys. Please uh, give me your thoughts. You know, I love your input on everything, and please, if you're uh, looking for anything in particular or wanting to trade or need anything to complete your set that I've got, like I said, I've got tons of pieces and bits and pieces as you can see it's everywhere so uh, feel free to ask and if you guys know like I said if these guys are mask figures please let me know or what they are you know what they went to and thanks for viewing guys